Sebastian Rogers vanished from his home almost two months ago, at this point. Authorities have scaled back searches, and when they do that, I think they may believe Sebastian is no longer with us. I hope I am wrong though, and he is safe and sound somewhere. They are moving to a more investigative approach now, and trying to piece together what really happened that night or early morning, and where Sebastian may be. It's not a criminal investigation yet, but some people are acting rather guilty, if you ask me. According to Katie Proudfoot, Sebastian left in the middle of the night, sometime between midnight and 6 that morning, when she went to wake him up for school. He just decided that after such a fun day, he was going to up and leave, without any of his belongings, and that includes shoes. He apparently had his glasses and his small flashlight. How far could a 15-year-old boy get without shoes on, in the middle of the night? Looking at the area searched by authorities, it leads me to believe that Sebastian was taken out of the area by someone, and he never left the house on foot. TBI has collected footage from a number of neighbors and businesses, and nothing has been significant in this case. More than 2,000 miles were searched by officers on foot, many of these areas were searched multiple times. Bloodhounds and handlers have searched the same areas. There have been aerial searches with helicopter, drones, and a fixed wing plane. These aerial searches have been conducted on multiple days and multiple nights using thermal imaging technology. Sebastian's residence, the yard, the house, the vehicles have all been searched multiple times. The neighborhood where Sebastian stays has been canvassed. Neighbors' houses have been searched. Sebastian is autistic and his family says he is drawn to water. Pools in the neighborhood were searched. Dive teams were brought in and bodies of water around the neighborhood and beyond that area were searched, including caves. What an extensive search, so it's only logical that authorities move to a more investigative approach, as well as to determine whether foul play was involved in moving this child out of the area. There is a huge missing piece in this case.